Hi, I'm Gemma. Today we're going to be doing Kicho Kigong, a series of 11 movements in Kigong. We'll get our energy flowing and feeling good. So let's first start by getting in our Kigong stance. You want to have your feet shoulder width apart, knees loose, feet pointing forward and parallel to each other as long as that's comfortable for you. Do the best you can with it. Um, we're going to have our tailbone feel as if it is being pulled down to the earth and planted in the earth energy. You can imagine a rod going down from your spine into the earth to draw up that energy and your spine should curl under just a little bit to try to straighten out your lower back. So kind of like this. And then you're going to imagine a string coming from the very center of your head and extending towards the heavens. You're gonna wanna feel it pull your neck just the slightest bit, just so that it's stretched out and straight, so that your head kind of bobs and floats just a little bit and feels very loose and relaxed. While you're doing both of those, you're going to tuck your chin back into your neck not too hard, just a little bit, so that your neck is more straightened out. Our goal is to make our spine as straight as possible because it is a huge energy channel that draws energy up from the earth and then around this way. And at this point, you're going to take the tip of your tongue and put it behind your teeth, right where your front teeth meet your gums, right behind them. Um, and with your tongue there, that will connect this energy channel to the one flowing down the front of your body that brings energy down from the heavens. We're going to do all those things. Knees loose, feet shoulder width apart, pointing forward, spine straight by tucking our tailbone, putting our chin back, keeping our head extended up towards the sky, shoulders loose and relaxed as possible. Keep them back a little bit, but don't strain to hold them back. Just let them be as relaxed as you can have them. And then have your arms a little bit away from your body. You wanna keep your armpits open because these are a very important energy channel. And then your hands will be hanging loosely by your sides, palms facing backwards. You want your fingers to be apart, not straining, but just relaxed and loose and keeping space between them so that energy can also flow up and down your arms comfortably. So now that we did that, we're going to get into the breathing. The breathing will be in through your nose and out through your nose. You're going to be breathing into your Danzhong, which is the en energy center that we'll mainly be breathing into today. It is the main one in your body in Qigong. And your Danzhong is located wherever your center of balance is. For most people, it is behind the navel. Sometimes it can be a couple inches below that. But just imagine it behind your navel for today, unless you feel it's different. And imagine it in the very center of your body behind the navel. So it's your very core. And we're breathing into that. All right. So now that we got the basics covered, let's go ahead and start our movements. So the first movement we're going to do is cradling our arms just like this. Still try to keep your shoulders loose. Try to align your fingers and we'll be starting just below the Danjong. And then when you breathe in, you'll bring your hands up and then turn them when you get to your chin and then we'll breathe out when we go down. And you're always breathing energy into your Danjong, making that energy flow beautifully. So let's do five of these, breathing in and out, ready and go, one. Breathe out. Two. Nice deep breath. Don't worry if you can't breathe the whole time, just do your best. At least do the movements that are comfortable for you. 
Your breathing will improve over time. Three, breathe in, that new fresh energy, and out. Four, breathe in, and out. And we're on to the last one. Breathe in and try to relax more and more into your body. Straightening your spine as we go. And down. And let your hands fall back down to your sides. Very nice. Uh, if you want to, you can shake out your hands and feet after each movement to get that energy flowing, any stuck energy out those channels. Um, but let's move on to movement two. So our next movement is going to be raising our arms up and down in front of us. And what you want to do with this is have the movement come from your shoulders. Don't tense your arms and really heave them upwards. What you want to do is just gently tilt your shoulder back so that your arm raises almost by itself. And when you tilt your shoulders back, you're just going to raise your arms lightly and then bring them back down. Again, breathing in as we go up, breathing out as we go down. Make sure you're still in your Qigong stance. Let's go. So breathe in, hands go up when they're level, bring them down, breathe out. That's one, two, three, breathe out, keep breathing as deeply as you can into your Donjon, Donjon. Four, breathe in, and as you bring your hands down, imagine brushing the energy in front of you with your fingertips, letting them glide through it, almost as if through water. Breathe in, because the energy inside you is the energy all around you. When you connect to it, you have unlimited power over increasing your energy and keeping yourself clear. Very nice. All right, the next movement is going to be sort of a flying movement. We're going to raise our arms to our sides up to shoulder height and then lower them. And we're gonna do the same exact thing we did with the last movement, which is move from our shoulders. So we'll tilt your shoulders in a little bit and it will raise your arms so that they're just floating upwards. Breathing in as we go up, out as we go down. Make sure you're still in your Qigong stance. And let's go, breathe in. Stretching your wings. Breathe out to the ends of the universe. Breathe in. When you do Qigong, it's great to visualize that your movements are extending to the very ends of the universe and gathering fresh, vibrant energy from all the stars and planets in space. Everything you can't reach by, sim by your simple everyday mindset. So breathe in. Reach out to the stars at the edge of the universe. Breathe out, brush your fingers through that new vibrant energy. And five, breathe in. Feel yourself expand. And breathe out and contract back down to yourself. Very nice, let's shake it out a little bit. Keep that energy moving, beautiful. 
The next movement is going to be a combination of the last two. So we're going to start by, and remember to always move from your shoulders, but um, don't hurt yourself with it. If you feel any pain, just do your best with it, um, but try to move from your shoulders as best you can. So get in your stance and let's breathe in. Arms go up all the way to the top and then breathe out and extend them down, reaching to the edges of the universe again. If you can't breathe the whole time, don't worry about it, just do your best with it. Breathe in. All the way to the top and breathe out. Breathe in, relax deeper and deeper into your body, feeling new, fresh energy flood your organs. Breathe out, renewing you, and getting you ready for all that is coming for you. All the new opportunities in your life, breathe in. Opening your arms and accepting new adventures in a brand new day. Last one, breathe in. Trail your fingers through the energy before you, feeling it melt around you, going into your body and energizing every cell. Very nice. All right, the next movement is going to be the opposite of the last one. So we're going to breathe in and raise our arms and breathe out and put our arms down in front of us. So here we go. One. Breathe in, breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in, raising your arms, stretching them out to the very ends of the universe, and breathe out. You are surrounded in new, fresh energy. Breathe in. Don't let it just sit there. You can bring it in and use it to do anything you want. Accomplish anything you want to today. Breathe in. And breathe out. The energy that built the heavens is now inside of you. Breathe in and allows you to live your life the very best you can every single day. Just refresh it, just remember. Relax your arms, shake it out a little bit. <clears throat> Our next movement is, <laughs> Our next movement is going to be Uh, circle. So we're going to circle our arms just like this, aligning our fingertips and keeping our thumbs relaxed. Uh, we'll have them in front of us like this. If your arms or anything is hurting, you can lower it a little bit. Just do it to the best of your abilities. Make sure you're still in your Qigong stance, feet shoulder width apart, facing forward, knee, knees loose, tailbone being pulled down, head being pulled up, chin tucked, tongue behind to teeth, and shoulders relaxed. All right, so circle movement. Relax your arms as much as you can. They should just hang loosely in front of you. Shoulders should be as relaxed as possible. And what we're going to do is when we breathe in, we're going to open our arms out to the sides. And when we breathe out, we're going to close our arms, expanding and then contracting. So here we go. One, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Open yourself to new possibilities. Breathe out. 
Breathe in. Allow that new energy to come close to you and get inside you. Heal your organs. Breathe in. Heal your mentality. Breathe out. And give you a lust for life. Breathe in. And energy for a new day. Breathe out. And settle that energy back down. Very nice. We're getting our energy up and moving, moving right now, but we never want to have too much energy. So make sure when you're breathing in and getting all this new energy out, that when you're breathing out, you also release any old stagnant energy because you always want to keep it balanced. Your body knows how to balance it, so don't worry too much. But if you can help it along, things will go much more smoothly, much more quickly. So we're breathing in and out. Our next movement is going to be a squeezing movement. So what we're going to do is breathe in and raise our hands and arms and then shoulders. And we're going to raise everything up. And at the very last moment, we're going to tense every single thing from your toes to your hair. Imagine everything tensing and tightening just for that split second. And then we're going to release as we breathe out and flick our hand, hands at the very end, just get off any energy. So this one's really about releasing that stagnant energy. So let's try it. Make sure you're still in your Qigong stance. Here we go, breathe in, raise your hands, raise your elbows, raise your shoulders, and squeeze and release, breathing out, and shake, nice. Two, breathe in, Squeeze, breathe out, nice, breathe in, taking in all that new fresh energy and really getting it in there and let go, let it settle and flick any excess energy off, right, four, breathe in, and squeeze, and relax. Last one, breathe in, squeeze, <sighs> flick it off. Very nice, let's shake that one out because that one definitely deserves a shake. <laughs> so we got rid of a lot of energy that was a little blocked there but feeling better now. So our next one is going to be a bird motion kind of so what you're going to do is have your arms extended out to the side again in your qigong stance and you're going to as you breathe in draw your hands close to you and create a little bird beak so you should have two swans guarding each side of you <laughs> um, and then as we breathe out we'll push our hands out to the edges of the universe so we're drawing in energy from those very edges of the universe into our body and then letting go and releasing any stagnant energy back out to the universe so that it can be refreshed and recycled and made new. Because energy is never lost in the world. You can't destroy it or create it. We can recycle it though and that's what Qigong is all about. All right, let's go ahead. So raise your hands up and breathe in and breathe out breathe in let those swans eat up that universal energy bring it in bringing it into you into your dungeon breathe out pushing out any excess energy three breathe in And breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Release. 
releasing excess energy, letting yourself become balanced, and breathe in one last time, taking in that new, fresh energy. Breathe out, storing the new energy in your dungeon, and releasing any extra energy that you don't need right now. And relax your arms. Let's shake it out. <sighs> All right getting through these nicely. So our next movement is pulling energy from the heavens. So instead of the ends of the universe, I mean there's really no top or bottom of the universe, but we'll be bringing in energy from the sky and from the top of us, whatever's over us anyway. <laughs> so let's breathe in and now resettle, make sure we're in our Qigong stance. What we're going to do is have our arms up here, or bring our arms up, arms up, and then pull energy in from the universe, and then push out, and just go around like that. So, we're going to breathe in and raise our hands up, and then raise them up to the sky, Breathing in all the way, and then breathing out as we get here. So breathe in, and then breathe out. So here we go. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then go up. Breathe in. Breathe in, pull energy in from the edge of the universe, and let it go, let it settle. Breathe in, pull that energy down to you, and breathe out. Last one, breathe in. shake that one out a little bit. For our next movement, we're going to be doing our stance a little bit differently. Please do still keep your feet shoulder width apart, but we're now going to stagger our feet a little bit. So what you want to do is align the ball of your foot um, with your heel. So the back ball of your foot, it doesn't matter which foot is forward at this time, just pick one and remember which one it is so that we can switch it on the next round. Um, but align the back ball of your foot with the front heel of your other foot. And what we're going to do is similar to the circle movement, but this time when we do it, we're going to lean back a little bit. To make sure you're not losing your balance and make sure when you set your feet that you test it a little bit and make sure your balance is on. So we're going to be breathing in and leaning back and then breathing out and leaning forward. So let's go ahead and try it. Make sure you're all balanced. Ball of the back foot aligned with heel of the front foot. And let's breathe in, leaning back and breathe out, leaning forward. Breathe in. And breathe out. Three, breathe in. Opening yourself to all the new fresh energy. Breathing out all stagnant, stuck energy. Four, breathe in. And breathe out. Last one, breathe in. Feel the energy all around you and breathe out. And come back to center, lower your arms and relax. Shake it out. All right, now we're gonna to move to the opposite foot and do the exact same thing. 
So I'll keep the, make sure they're shoulder width apart so that you can keep your balance. Ball of back foot aligned with heel of front foot. Make sure you're all good balance wise. <laughs> if you need any support, of course you can use it. If you have a chair, you can prop that next to you and do the movement with one arm. But if you're able to, go ahead and follow me. Here we go. Relax. Breathe in, lean back. And breathe out. Two. Imagining, imagine you're following the waves of the universe. Ocean waves bringing in and taking away energy as it's needed. There's always the perfect amount though. Four, breathe in. Balancing, renewing, refreshing, breathe out. Last one, breathe in. And breathe out. Very nice. Looks like we lost a tiny bit of our light here, so I'm just going to open the curtains for a second. All right, now that we have our light back, um, let's go ahead and do our last two movements. So the next one is going to have the same concept with the ball of the back foot aligning with the heel of the front foot. And I'm going to keep everything loose, make sure you're still tucking your tailbone and keeping your head extended up. What we're going to do this time is do a movement where we breathe in, raising our arms, and then breathe out, going down and forward. Now make sure your balance is set for this. Uh, we don't want to go forward or backward. Make sure your feet are shoulder width apart so that you have a great center of balance. Knees loose, a little low, a little more loose than usual if you can, just so that you can go up and down. And if you feel uncomfortable at any time, just modify the movement, make it as easy as you need it to be. So let's go breathing in. So we raise our arms and breathing out. So we go down. Breathe in. Stretching all the way out and breathe out. Scooping in that energy from all around us. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Bringing in energy from the earth. Letting it go to the heavens. Breathe out. Last one. Breathe in. And breathe out. And back up. Shake it out. We're going to switch our feet again. Align the other ball of the back foot with the other heel of the front foot. And this time we're going to do the exact opposite movement. We're going to scoop the energy up and into ourselves and let it settle down. So make sure your feet are sh shoulder width apart. Balance is all good. Shoulders relaxed. And let's go, breathing in as we scoop up that new fresh energy. And out as we let it settle down. Breathe in. And out. In. Breathe in, scooping up that energy, and out, and last one, breathe in, and out, let that settle, shake it out. Now this time, we're going to be all on the same foot, so I...
I'm going to put my left foot forward and yes, so are you. <laughs> and we're going to put our left foot forward, aligning the back, the right back ball of the foot with the heel of the front left foot and we're going to put our move our hands around in a circle keeping our palms flat and um, what I like to imagine is that I'm submerged in a beautiful clear crystal clear body of water and the surface is right here where I'm going to be moving my hands around right at your chest um, and I like to imagine flower petals or open flowers floating on the water and that I'm moving them around. It's just a fun visualization, but if you have something more fun, go for it. Qigong is all about imagining beautiful scenes around yourself and bringing in the energy of that beauty. Usually nature, but if something else makes you happy, do it. You want to, if you can, Doing Qigong with a little bit of a smile on your face makes it work even better. So let's go ahead and start. We're going to start by moving in the direction that our foot, our front foot is going and uh, take a deep breath in and we'll start by breathing out and moving around. So breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, moving those flower petals around that crystal clear water. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Feel that water under your hands. Breathe in. Last one. Breathe out. Breathe in. Now what we're going to do is switch our feet. So ball of back left foot aligned with heel of front right foot. We're going to move in the direction of the right foot. Breathe in and breathe out, moving in the circle. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. You want to make the circle as big as you can without losing your balance, without getting too crazy, breathe in. Just make sure you're moving those flower petals around, breathe in. And creating a movement of energy, breathe in. Last one, breathe out. And breathe in. And relax. All right. Let's uh, settle the, the energy back down to our Dan Jun. Breathe in and out. And we are all done. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.